I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate, I hate everything. Hi everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Drop Dead Gorgeous collection from BH Cosmetics. So they sent me the whole collection and I believe this is their Halloween October collection. So today I'm going to be doing swatches and I'm also going to be trying all of these products on my face. So if you want to know my opinion on that, this collection and if you want to see how to achieve this really fun, uh, colorful, almost like... 4th of July makeup look, you can just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every single Mondays. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of the Makeup Mondays. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching and let's get started with the makeup. All right, so let's get started. I'm super excited. I'm super excited because last week, I received the BH Cosmetics collection. Now this is the BH collection Drop Dead Gorgeous. I believe this is kind of their Halloween October collection because everything looks very spooky, very scary. <laughs> but yeah, so today I'm going to do a full review and I'm also going to show you swatches. So as per usual, first half of the video is going to be quick swatches and the other half of the video will be a try on makeup face part. I'm first going to show you what's in the collection. So you have two eye palettes. You have a little bit psycho palette, which looks like this. And you also have the crazy full on psycho, which is a lot bigger than the, the little bit psycho palette. I feel like if you want to get a eyeshadow palette, you could probably go for the bigger one because like for the bigger palette, it's $19 and the smaller ones is $14. So quantity wise and price wise, I would say that you should probably go with the bigger palette or if you want something very small and very practical, then you could go for the smaller palette. Next, you also have a glitter blood glitter gel. So I'm really curious. I'm not sure if you can use this on the eyes and the lips. Wait, let me just check. It doesn't say and it doesn't even say on the packaging. I guess you can also put this on the eyes. Maybe we'll try that. <laughs> Next, we also have this thing right here. I did not open this yet. I was so curious to open this. I have no clue what this is. So it opens like this. Let me see. Ooh, it feels really heavy. Oh my god. Is this dangerous? Like, can I poke someone with this? Like, I feel like you could stab someone with this thing. All right. So this one, I, I, it's kind of a silicone-y plastic end. So I guess you can pick the glitters up with it to apply them on the face. But like this side is kind of scaring me. It's very, very pointy. <laughs> so yes, here we go with this weapon. <laughs> and of course, to go with the applicator, you have some glitter. So I'm probably going to use that today. Okay, so I'm going to start with the swatches. I haven't swatched any of these eyeshadows yet. So first I'm going to swatch the little bit psycho palette. So the smaller eyeshadow palette. So the shimmers do feel really, really creamy. And the mattes are quite pigmented but usually i don't really like to base my opinion on swatches because usually swatches can be very misleading for example last week i made a video with uh, kaleidos products and the shimmers were amazing in their eyeshadow palettes but the matte they swatch beautifully but applied on the eyes they were a little bit patchy so i'm just saying that you can't really base your opinion on swatches but so far like they look quite pigmented so i'm pretty excited the white eyeshadow is a little bit chalky and overall i do really enjoy the the shades in this palette i feel like this could be a really good everyday type of palette you have some pop of colors you have neutral shades you also have some shimmers a white and a black so that's really practical next i'm quickly going to swatch the full-on crazy palette i'm going to do one row at a time okay so overall i do actually really really love 
the colors in the bigger palette. It's really, really colorful, uh, but you do have more neutral shades. So you could achieve a very neutral look with this palette. And you can also achieve a much more colorful and intense look. So I'm really looking forward to using this palette on an everyday basis because all of the colors are really speaking to me and I feel really, really creative looking at this palette. So that's it for the eyeshadow palettes. Next, I'm so looking forward to swatching the glitter gel because uh, girl a glitter gel like is it going to be glossy is it going to be just glitter i'm really curious to see the packaging is super super tiny like it's a really small tube so first impression the the texture really reminds me of the face and body glitters that i did a first impression a few videos back the only thing with those glitters that i tried is that they were really really dry so i hope this one is going to have a little bit more moisture because if it's the same texture as the other ones i tried i feel like i might not like this yeah not too sure we'll see how this applies on the eyes i'm not sure if i'm going to use this today maybe i'm going to use this on the lips to see what this would look like and actually that's all i can't really swatch <laughs> the glitters i'm going to show you a close-up but yeah so that's all for the swatches that was pretty fast i already primed my lids i use my mac uh, paint pot in the shade painterly i think today i'm going to do kind of like a very red blown out look i want to be in the halloween spirit <laughs> so today i'm probably just going to use the full on uh, crazy palette uh, just because I'm mainly going to be using the red shades and I'm also going to be dipping into the blues and I'm going to start and take a kind of precise blender brush so I got this one in my boxycharm this is the Luna Magic uh, brush set I think I'm going to like full on start with the vamped shade like the bright red shade it looks so intense on the brush I'm kind of scared Ew, tapping off the excess and I'm going to start and whew, what am I doing? Oh, actually, I'm going to, yes, I think I'm going to start because just I just want to see how like the neutral shades blend. So I'm actually going to go into the shade called Trill, which is the neutral kind of transition-y shade. And I'm going to blend this in the crease just to have a transition before going in with the red. Ooh, oh, that's a pretty shade. Ah. Huh. That's really pretty and it's really really soft like it's really blending nicely and you'll see I'm going to go very very far like this eye look is going to be extremely int intense. I hope this won't give me any fallout because I already have my complexion makeup on. Okay so first impression these are so far layering nicely so the red is quite pigmented on top of that neutral brown shade and if you're wondering why i haven't been as active on social media uh it's because i started my full-time job <laughs> again and like i've been working a lot okay so now i'm just going to go back into the super fluffy brush Woo, girl this outer corner is going way far further than i planned <laughs> But like so far, these are blending like a dream. Like I'm really, really impressed. And everything is layering super, super nicely. So that's quite nice as well. But next, what I wanted to do, this is pro- Oh my God. <laughs> what was that noise? Okay, I almost dropped this, sorry. I'm just going to take another a blender brush. I'm going to go into the shade Sweet As Sin, which is a really pretty soft pink shade. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Ooh, oh, that's a pretty shade. Oh, that's such a pretty shade. Oh, these are blending so nicely. What the hell? I might, because I kind of wanted to go with the blue. It might be too much. Maybe more of the pink. So my camera stopped filming. I'm not sure what you missed, but I'm just going to sum what I did. So I took the shade called Showy on my finger and I just applied it into the inner corner. And then I used the shade Devil Wears It. It's the shimmery burgundy shade. I also took it with my finger and applied it on the very center of the lid. And now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to smoke the red shade on my under eye area. And I'm really going to blow this out. 
Oh, I'm not sure if I like this anymore. What have I done? What have I done? Everything is going out of control. Okay, I need to trust the process. And you know what? I'm going to go full on crazy. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I'm... I, I, I understand now, full on crazy. Nice, nicely done. <laughs> so I'm going to go full on crazy. I'm going to take this red shade on a blush brush. <laughs> Tapping off the excess because she really, she, she's really pigmented. And let me put this. I hate this, I Why hate this. I hate it. I hate, I hate Just everything. Alright, we are back to square one plus some red eyes. Great. <laughs> so what we are going to do, we're not going to do what I just did. How about I do a red crease and like a smoky blue liner? Would that be nice? I think I'm going to try that and if that doesn't work then too bad. So I'm going to go back into the red shade but this time I'm going to take it on a very precise brush and I'm going to create a cut crease and I'm going to blend that line out and now I'm just taking a JH42 brush and I'm going over the line just to make it a little bit more intense. And I think I'm going to blend that shade quite intensely in this inner corner, inner part right here. Be very careful with this red shade because it is extremely pigment pigmented. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to like not explain what I'm doing. But I'm just creating kind of a circle in this inner corner. So I'm going to smoke this red shade going into the lower lash line. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to clean the cut crease a little bit more. And I'm going to redefine the shape in this inner corner to make it very clean. And you want to be careful so that it doesn't uh, become pink. Ooh, okay, I'm starting to like the look. I'm glad. <laughs> I kind of like the look just like this. I feel like it's really simple and the shape is really interesting. But I kind of want to do a, bl a blue under eye or, or like a blue liner. I'm going to try that and if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't look good, well, too bad. So I'm going to go into the shade called Dramatic with a angled brush. And I'm just going to pack the shade under my eye and I'm going to drag it out. This shade is definitely not as pigmented as the red one. It's looking a little bit patchy and I'm seeing a lot of fallout with that shade. And I'm going to connect the two shades in the inner corner. All right, so I'm back. I'm not sure if these are very symmetrical, but you know me, I don't really want to worry too much about that because Nobody is a perfect and I'm actually going to be applying some glitters. Ooh, so exciting And I'm really not sure like what this side of the Stabbing tool is so I'm probably more going to use this one this side right here So I'm going to take some lash glue I'm going to take a little bit of lash glue and just stamp it in the like inner corner that I created Okay, and let me... Oh, my hands are shaking. That's cute, isn't it? I'm noticing that the eyeshadows are fading a little bit. They're not really long-lasting. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to apply the glitters on my lips. All right, so here we have it. This is the look. Uh, sorry about the sun. Wait a minute. Can you please go away, sun? Oh my goodness. So sorry if there's some weird lighting on my face right now. The sun is doing its thing. It doesn't really want to leave. I already applied a lip liner. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on a flat brush. And I'm going to put it on the lips. I'm going to do another layer after just because so far I feel like this glitter is really not 
condensed like there is not a lot in the gel so i think this will need more than one coat Ooh, look at the shine in the sun so shiny so first layer it looks a little bit like it doesn't look really even and i'm not sure if this is supposed to be for the lips it just says that it's a glitter gel so i'm going to wait to let the <laughs> I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to do a third layer. All right, so I do think that this is a really nice option for like photos uh, because it was really, really easy to apply. So if you want a glitter lip, uh, it was really, really easy to apply. I didn't really get any glitters on my chin yet or around my face so it is staying in place. It feels really drying on the lips, but I feel like this is a really nice option for a glitter lip a very easy glitter lip but yeah so that's pretty much it for the products application uh overall i'm going to give you my final thoughts so i feel like the palettes if you're wanting to pick one of these palettes up i would say maybe go with the bigger one but if you're looking for a compact palette maybe the smaller one just because there are doubles so there's three shades in this bigger palette that you do find in the small ones so i wouldn't really recommend you to buy both the shades do blend really nicely so overall the quality of these palettes is really good you do have to give a little bit more love to the matte shades um but overall for the price and the quality it's really nice next for the glitter gel well you probably already know my opinion on this i do really like it the more i have it on the lips the more dry it feels i feel like this is a really nice alternative for a glitter lip it was really easy to apply you do have to do a couple of layers to have a opaque pigment but overall i think that this would probably look really good on the eyes as well next for the stabbing object i really don't know how you use this side can you let me know can you tell me in the comments below what this does because i'm kind of scared to put this close to my eyes but it's really practical for applying glitters it was really easy to put on the glitters and the gems they're really pretty i do really like them with this look this look is really really extra but i do really like it and the gems are really pretty like what can i say more <laughs> well that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope this review was useful to you let me know in the comments below i'm really curious to know if you're planning on picking any of these products up and which one would you be planning to buy but yeah so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i put up new videos every single mondays so subscribe so that you don't miss any of the makeup mondays and that's it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one